Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place that we call the mental house. With me, your minister of soul, Kadeesh. Listen here, y'all. I want to say, first of all, anybody under the sound of my voice, if you are in a relationship that is really a domestic violence situation and you may not have any money, you may not have um, a way out that you can't see clear right now. Don't worry about that. If you know that you are in one of these situations, you have to get out. And there's nothing more about, uh, important than your life and you getting out of this situation. I don't care how long it's been going on. I don't care how you have to sneak. I don't care how you have to make this an um, issue where you do what you need to do to get yourself out of that situation. Even if it means don't tell anybody, just somebody from a Sojourner Truth house or a, a shelter house to come pick you up. You know, I'm very sensitive about this information. As you know, one of my family members um, succumbed to domestic violence just like um, a few of y'all YouTubers and a few of y'all have mentioned family members who have been. So this is this is a, a situation where most of us know our the crime scene spanning several miles between short we know our uh, perpetrators behavior. We've been around them. In some cases he or she is, is a family member. And, um, well, let me just play this and y'all check this out. Crowd in a crime scene spanning several miles between Shortwood and Milwaukee. A woman is dead. Her daughter is in a hospital. Family tells 12 News the woman's husband shot them both in Shorewood before turning the gun on himself in Lincoln Park. Here's Tony's Mallory Anderson. Exclusive video from News Chopper 12 shows the scene of the deadly shooting in a quiet Shorewood neighborhood Thursday morning. The car is stating that she was shot and she was bleeding. Shorewood police confirming two women were shot around 4.30 this morning inside a house near Murray and Lake Bluff. One victim was transported to a hospital for treatment. <clears throat> One victim is deceased. Family telling 12 News the husband of the woman who died shot the women. The other victim was her daughter. Once responder Murray just be advised that her caller is stating that he may have shot her mother. Police say the suspect was later found dead inside a car at Lincoln Park in Milwaukee. News Chopper 12 giving us an exclusive look above that scene. Police say he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound less than an hour after the original shooting. People who live near Murray and Lake Bluff were shocked to wake up to a crime scene. I'm just surprised. I've lived in Shorewood for over four years, and I'm shocked that someone's just getting shot. I'm, like, I'm just going on a routine run, and then I'm like seeing all this caution tape. I'm just shocked that someone got shot. Every morning we turn on the news, and the location may be different. Today it's in our backyard and around the corner. Uh, it's incredibly too commonplace, and I worry that we become desensitized to it. Um, an experience like this, I, it's very sensitive and something needs to be done. Police say there is no threat to the community, but if you know anything, Shorewood Police would like to hear from you. Reporting from Lake Bluff and Murray in Shorewood, Mallory Anderson, WISN 12 News. The woman shot and taken to a hospital is expected to survive. Family tells 12 News she is the daughter of the woman who was killed and the stepdaughter of the suspect. Not only uh, is this young lady uh, a client of my daughter's, 
They were also neighbors. So as you know, um, they're having a real hard time with things. Um, and this is a situation where next month she was planning on leaving. Going out of town. Getting away from this cowardly piece of who was sleeping around on her, who was being abusive towards her in the relationship, as you know. Um, this is not just something that you just wake up overnight and the behavior just started. But she had made plans to get away from him. And the sad part about it is he shot their, their daughter. He been raising her since he was she was a little girl like two or three years old and they have a son together now the traumatization that you've done to these young people first of all you you coward so then you go to Lincoln Park and then you take your own life. Why couldn't you have just done that in the first place? If somebody had to go, how come it couldn't have just been you by yourself? You just really bitch made. Bitch made. And this is the problem with a lot of men. A lot of men don't even need to be in those relationships. There I said it. You're too weak. You're too weak. And nature will satisfy itself. It will accommodate itself. This is so ridiculous. And you've killed that girl's mama. All I can say is anybody that's in a domestic violence situation again, please get in touch with a helpline, 611, 911, whatever it is in your town that you can remain anonymous and get the help. Some of them even have a situation where you range and you talk that same day and they'll pick you up within 24 hours. So you can work around the schedule. And even if they have to come to your house and get you with the police. They'll do it. There's a lot of states now that at least are open to what to do about people that are in a domestic violence situation. Unlike 20 some years ago, when they would say, hey, this is a man's castle. If he's kicking your ass, oh, well, that, that's not how any of this goes. And that's what's wrong with a lot of guys. Um, the laws that were active 30 and 40 and 50 years, not thinking that women and people in general evolve. And nobody wants to be uh, bossed around, bullied by somebody just by virtue of them having a penis. And some men are too weak to understand that. So you have to get away from it. And in this case right here, she didn't make it. Ugh. All right, y'all. Um, I mean, I want to know what y'all if anybody has had an experience with this, leave a comment. If anybody have had anybody in their family traumatized or been traumatized by domestic violence, or hell, if it's been you, come clean with it. Let us know. And with that being said, um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.